What's up and welcome to Chris of Emery Animation. I'm Chris and today we are going to take a look at some frame by frame animation basics through a really simple exercise that I like to do every now and then. It's a technique that definitely changed my animation game to the better and in my opinion definitely a tool to have in your animation toolbox. If you find this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to support me further you can always be a member of this channel. For more info on perks and stuff check out more in the description. You think this will be another bouncing ball tutorial but nah -uh. we're doing butterflies. Let's go! Now in this tutorial I'm going to focus on the base concept rather than specific software details and the reason for that is that I hope you'll be able to tag along regardless if you're in Toon Boom, Adobe Animate, Krita or any other software out there with drawing and a timeline. The workflow is extremely simple, just think of drawings in a flipbook. We are going to draw and erase and we're also going to go back and forth in the frame order. That's basically the core of what we're going to do. And before we start, I just want to let you know I'm working in 12 FPS, which is a fairly low frame rate, but one that I found pretty nice to work with. The frame rate of your document or scene will simply determine how fast you will flip between the drawings in your quote unquote flipbook. And you can always change this later. If you want to work with something else like 24 FPS, that's perfectly fine. Just have in mind that you that you would need more drawings for the same kind of animation. Anyways, it's time to animate some butterflies. The way I like to do it is to animate the body of the butterfly first and its full movement and then go back and add the wings on top of the body we've already created. So let's start with the body by having a brush or pen selected. We're in the first frame and I start with the body just by drawing a line like this. Go to the next frame and draw the body where you want it to be as it moves, always pointing in the direction of the flight with a slight bend to it from the past position. Now you might wonder if there's a way to better see where we are in the animation and the answer to that question is onion skin. Onion skin is a feature in all drawing based animation programs that helps us see where we are relative to the drawing behind and in front of us in the timeline. Next frame. And I draw the body again where I want it after that. Next frame, body, next frame again, body. Now notice how I actually click the next frame in the order just to be clear with what I'm doing here. In reality when working and what I will do from now on is hitting the short key for moving to the next frame which helps speed up the workflow significantly. You can keep clicking the actual next frame but I suggest for a faster workflow down the road that you find out the shortcuts for last or next frame in your specific software. But I just continue here, drawing, next frame, drawing, next frame, drawing, next frame, until I have a nice little path here where my butterfly body is flying. I minimize the playback area only to cover my animation. And I check loop to easier be able to see a preview of your work over and over again. Again, these are all features your preferred software definitely do have. And uh, I feel I'm happy with the base movement of my butterfly body like this. Uh, what we are missing right now is obviously the wings. So, uh, so let's do that. And for that we just go back to the first frame. And with the brush selected, draw a pair of wings. Just simple like this. Next frame, more wings, but this time I draw them pointing down. And next frame, maybe like this. And then I continue like that with the wings in different positions each frame. The cool thing about the butterfly's movement in real life is that it's almost have this sort of irregular frame by frame movement to it. From here we can easily do another round on our frames and use the paint bucket to fill the wings with a color. And that's it. I mean you can go on even further and do another round of maybe details or pattern on your uh, butterfly. But um, I think you get the core concept of how this works. A very simple frame by frame exercise to help you show the basics of this old but extremely powerful technique used everywhere in today's animation. I hope you'll find this video helpful. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. 
Thank you for watching and see you next time.